The purpose of this tutorial is to give you an overview of Kahoot, which is a game-based interactive tool that you can use to give your students quizzes, surveys, or hold discussions with the whole class. To get started, go to the website getkahoot.com and register for a free account. When you get to the registration screen, you'll be asked several, several questions, such as your role, the school that you work at, and your username, email address, and password for your account. Once your account is created, you can sign in and you will be taken to the Kahoot dashboard. On your dashboard, you can see that you'll be able to get started by creating a quiz, a discussion, or a survey, depending on what type of activity you have in mind. If you have already created some Kahoot activities, they will show up at the top under your Me section. There are also several public Kahoots that you can look through and use with your students as well. To get started, select from one of the three Kahoot activity options. And immediately, you'll be asked to give your activity a name. When you begin creating your first activity, you can type the question at the top. You'll notice that you have a few font editing features, as well as some uh, options for equation editor. You can switch between Latin, currency, math, Greek, and arrows if you wanted to uh, insert these characters into your question. You also have the ability to decide if you wanted to assign a point value to your question, assign a time limit for uh, how long the question will be displayed before students have to answer, and you can even upload an image um, that will display to go along with your question. Keep in mind that the image may be rather small when it's displayed for your whole class to see. They won't see um, the image on their actual computers. Instead, they'll see the image projected on your screen. So you may want to have this image opened up maybe in another window uh, on a larger scale. So if you need to, you can show students the larger image uh, when they go to answer this question. Kahoot also has a video option where you can embed a video into your questions. Um, the video has to come from YouTube and you must specify the um, starting point uh, in seconds into the video and ending point for um, the specific portion of the video that you'd like displayed. They do specify that um, video is still experimental. Kahoot is in their beta testing phase right now, so um, this may not be something that you want to risk using. However, I have seen other teachers use this feature and it worked fine for them. Uh, so you're not just limited to questions and images, you can actually include video as well. So if this is going to be a multiple choice question, for example, you can uh, insert your answer choices below. Once again, you have those um, equation editor toolbars um, that you can use here if you wanted to insert different characters. And um, you can also reduce or increase the number of um, uh, question or answer options at the bottom here as well. So if you were to type in a question, and type in your answer choices below, you have the ability to actually select the answer choice that is correct and leave the others set to incorrect. You can choose to save at this point and continue. You can also add another question. And at the end of your activity, you will be asked to fill in a few settings here. So you can decide the language, um, if you would like the privacy to be made um, private instead of a public Kahoot, you can do that. You can also add tags um, to make it searchable and a description of the activity uh, so other people can find it. And also you can specify the uh, difficulty level of that particular Kahoot activity. So I'm going to go into a Kahoot activity that I've previously created by going to me here at the top.
and you can see I have two Kahoot activities that I've previously created. Um, the nice thing is there is a share button next to each of my Kahoot activities. So if there are other teachers that are using Kahoot, you can actually share with those colleagues and they will be able to access the same Kahoot activity within their account um, and share it with their students as well. If you hover over any of those activities, you can also click on edit, um, you can delete it, you can change the privacy settings for it. You can also make a duplicate of it. Um, ultimately, if you wanted to, you can keep playing the same Kahoot activity with um, each class period uh, that you see in a day. Um, but if you wanted to actually export the results that the students of the students um, after the fact and you wanted them separated by class period, you may want to uh, duplicate the activity so that you can separate the um, results that, the, that you get from the students by class period. Otherwise, I'm going to just click on this activity here. I can press play when I'm ready to use it with students. Um, but for now, just for demonstration purposes, I'll show you what this actually would look like um, as a preview. And the nice thing about preview is it will show you the difference between what it looks like on the teacher screen in comparison to what it will look like on the student screen at the same time, just so you know in advance um, what this looks like to students. So as you can see here on the left, this is the teacher view. So this is what you'll see once you press play um, on your screen. So you'll pull up your projector, project this image for your students to see, and this phone representation is um, to show you what the students will see. So unlike um, the website you originally went to, get.kahoot.com, the students are actually on their devices, whether that be a mobile device or a Chromebook or another device, they will go to kahoot.it and they will be taken to a point or a screen that looks like this where they can enter a game pin. So you as the teacher, prior to launching the activity, you can um, specify a few settings here. So you may decide you don't want music playing, um, you don't want the order of the answers randomized, um, instructions or displaying the game pin throughout. You can um, pick and choose the settings that you want in advance by turning them on or off here. Otherwise, if you're fine with the default settings, press launch to begin. And at this point, the students will wait for the screen to display this game pin. Now this unique game pin ensures that only the students that are present in the room with you uh, will be able to participate in this particular Kahoot activity with you. So as the student, I will type in the PIN number over here into my device and press enter. And I'll be asked to enter a nickname. You may tell students that you uh, want them to type in something specific, such as initials or first names. Otherwise, if you are giving them free reign, you can have them type in whatever nickname they want, and they will join the game. It tells them that they're now in the session and on your screen, the nickname that the student entered will show up on yours, um, along with the number of players that have entered the activity. So as more and more students join, you'll see all the names populate here and the number of players so you can ensure that everyone in the room has um, successfully logged into the activity. So only when everybody is entered, you can press start now and the students have a loading screen as well. You can read the first question to your students out loud if you wanted to. And then the timer, depending on the time limit you set, will count down and the student has to read the answer choices on your screen and select the correct answer on theirs. On the student screen, they can see whether or not they were correct and on the um, projected image of your screen, it will give you some class data. So you'll see how many students answered correctly um, in comparison to the incorrect responses here. It also gives you a chance to kind of talk about this together before moving on to the next question. So as the next question loads, students will wait 
you can select their answer. Once again, you can talk about this question and there will be one more question for this particular activity. In this one, I actually included a picture so you can see what this looks like. So the students have to read the question, refer to the picture in order to select their answer choice. If you wanted to talk about this question a little bit, you can also click on Reshow Image and the image will appear and you can talk about um, maybe what you wanted them to get from this picture. At this point, the scoreboard between each question will display the top um, performing students. So not only is it determining which students answered the questions correctly, but how quickly they were able to answer. Um, and then the quicker responders um, with the correct answers will show up higher on the scoreboard. So when you end the activity, you'll talk up, you can see who the winner of the activity is for the whole class. And the students will be prompted to complete a quick survey so they can decide how fun the activity was, um, yes or no, if they learned something, do they recommend the activity, and how did they feel about their performance. And class level results will appear on your screen as the students start responding to that survey. And then when everybody has responded, you could go to final results and download results, which is really nice because it populates all of the students and their scores in a spreadsheet for you. So if you were to want to use this, you know, for something um, a little more formal, you could potentially um, download those results if you wanted to. So back on your dashboard, if you wanted to, at this point, you could press play and play the live activity with your students, or you can share it and you can always come back to these at another time um, if you saved your Kahoot activity. So hopefully this tutorial gave you something that you can use with students. Um, it's a very fun and interactive way to get students engaged, whether you're looking for more um, of a discussion tool or something to kind of assess their understanding of a topic in your class.